guys so in today's video it's going to be a bit something a bit different today uh, i'm going to be showing you what in my opinion is the easiest way to catch pike using lures so we've come down the canal today it's uh, about a mile long stretch no features uh, basically it's just a towpath plain canal and what we're going to be doing is trolling along the edge of the canal with lures hopefully we're expecting some pike to be laid up in the margins because there's there's no features nothing else for them to hide under so the the edge of the canal is basically the only place they can hold up and wait for prey to pass uh, prey to pass <laughs> so we're going to be using the uh, savage gear 25 centimeter 3d roach line through the uh, reason i'm using this today is because i bought it today and i want to try it um, if we don't get anything on this by maybe uh, I don't know 10 minutes time I'll probably change it up put something a bit brighter on because it's quite a dull day and uh, yeah I'll just show you basically what I do and if it's if fishing's being a bit hard and you've got a place where there is no features to fish to this is this is a method that will probably catch, I'm not I'm not saying you'll definitely catch fish but there's a good chance you will so yeah starting off basically i'll cast about 10 meters away from where i am that's about five meters that'll do five meters we're doing five meters today do that cast there and then i'll set off at a steady pace probably say about one mile an hour walking pace um you change change your pace if you're not catching fish speed it up slow it down just as long as you're going fast enough for your work, lure to work properly in the water, it's, uh, it's good enough. And basically, the best thing about this method is you're covering a lot of water, which is the number one thing you need to be focusing on when you're lure fishing. It's about finding the fish. So if I can cover this one whole mile stretch today, I've covered a lot more water, a lot more chance of catching fish. and. You know, it's just it's just easy. You only have to cast once. Maybe uh, recast every hundred meters or so. Check if there's any weed on the lure. But yeah, that's it. We'll just uh, have a steady stroll up here. See if we get any bites. Fingers crossed. We'll catch a few fish uh, hanging out under the uh, edge here. Uh, one point I would mention though is just try and be quiet with your footsteps because. Obviously you are only a couple of feet away from where you're trying to catch the fish and you don't want to spook them before they see you there. So yeah, keep quiet, keep a steady pace and just uh, see what happens. You can um, use pretty much any lure for this. What I would recommend is using maybe like a, a swim bait or a spinner bait or a spinner or a you know something that works itself and you don't have to worry about jerking the rod i mean you can use jerk baits and you just got to keep make sure you jerk the rod and do some pauses and stuff but yeah i like to do this with swim baits uh i like fishing swim baits anyway but yeah they just seem they seem to work best for me when i do this so yeah
go. There's Pike trolling along the canal. Oh, fuck. Still on. Still on. <laughs> Set my track too low, Sam. That feels like a decent pike. Ooh. Just got that. Just straight walking along. Not even uh, moving the uh, layer or anything. Just swiped it. Head off the uh, change into the uh, brighter colored layer, definitely. Not too well that. Took a bit longer than I uh, anticipated today, but you know, I got one in the end. Good fighting fish. It's a bit smaller than I thought. Fights. <laughs> Fights like a 10 pounder. Oh, get one in the net. Feels like quite a nice uh, chunky fish. There we go, first pack of the day on the uh, Savage Gear line through trout, trolling it along the canal. Decent size pack, probably say about six pounds, but yeah, happy with that. Hopefully we'll get a few more. Get him uh, released. and catch his breath a minute wait till he's ready to go swoop him Five minutes after that first pike, about 50 meters further down canal, hooked into another decent looking pike. Putting up another good pike again. About the same size as the last one I'd say. Maybe a bit bigger. Every fish to say it's summer. Oh, he's got bucks nicely in his lips as well.
I got forceps. Decent chunky pike again. 20 centimetre line through trout. There we go, second pike of the day, trolling along the canal. Uh, it's only about five minutes after I got that first one, so they're starting to get on the feed now. Uh, nice size again, I'd probably say about eight pounds this one. Okay. Right. Cheers. Um, same layer as last one, albino line through trout, 20 centimetres. So, yeah, happy with that. Again. Make sure he's ready. He's ready already. So right away, he's gone straight back into it now, as always. <laughs> Look at off it goes. Second pike. Nice one. Whew. Twenty centimetre line through trout, trawled along the canal. Two pike. See if we can get a third one. Got him. There we go. <laughs> Couldn't tell everyone then because he was swimming with me then. Yes, yeah, so that's a lot. It's a lot of guy, but I'll take it. Ready. Fish number three. I won't actually. Now we've moved on to the second stretch, I wasn't expecting to get out because I've, I've never had a fish out of here. On this side at bank that is anyway, but yeah, pleasantly surprised with a little jack. Quite nicely hooked as well. There we go. Pack number three for the day. <laughs> Same lure, line through trout. Nice little jack this time. One or two pounds, but hey, it's a fish. Get him released. He's ready to go in, I can, can feel him. There we go. It's uh, basically dark now, it's about eight o'clock. So just walking back to the car and I've just put a uh, spinner bait on. A bit, something a bit flashy, a bit vibrating. Hopefully draw some pike in. Uh, get us a uh, last one before we go home. So yeah, fingers crossed. Oh yeah, it's a decent one. <laughs> Literally just walked maybe 20 meters with that. Just put this spinner bait on and straight into a pike. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. Was not expecting to get another one today. It's a fair pike as well. Fair sized pike. Ooh. 
bet you can't even see this footage, but yeah. They're feisty today, these bike. <sighs> yep, there we go. Oh my god. That's a heavy, <laughs> that is a heavy bike. Whew. That's uh, for sure biggest one of the day, no doubt. Junk. Nice fish. Spinner bait, nice lip up. Didn't even need trailer hook on that one. There we go, hooks out already. Yeah. What a joker. <laughs> well, that was pack number four on the spinner bait. Just released himself. Uh, I did have him on the un unhooking map, but he's away. Probably about 10 pounds that one as well. So, a bit gutted, I couldn't get a picture with it, but anyway, yeah, I'll count that. Pack number four. <laughs> That's what I'm